Before I begin, I want to give praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahshua, and we the mighty men of the House of Israel, Las Vegas, come out here to bring the word to the poor and broken hearted who, who don't know the captivity in the wilderness in North America, because you could get a plane ticket and come to Las Vegas, you're still a slave. That's right. So, we with the word. It's a lot. It's a lot. So, with the word, we come to let the, all the Israelites out here who live in the wilderness of North America and don't know they Israelites, the so-called African Americans, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we the Israelites of the Bible. Yeah, baby, we biblical. And with that, it's a few things that you need to know. The Most High delivered us out of Egypt, and he gonna deliver us again out of this spiritual Egypt and Sodom. And our people walk around here, don't even consider that we the Israelites of the Bible. So-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, we are the Israelites of the Bible. Don't believe, okay, we got strong histories in these cultures, but they all stop at slavery. Think about that. The Bible say that we don't even consider who we are. So with that, better understand that the second judgment is coming, and we get ready to be laid up out of here. So with that, I'm going to start with uh, All right. Let's start at 2 Corinthians number 7 and 1. Having therefore these promises Dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from the all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. God. That's what we come out here to do. That's what we come out here to do, to let y'all know that y'all are Israelites, and you gotta cleanse his spirit. Because we are gonna be receiving the promises, so get yourself together, man. Separate yourself, man, become holy. We are the Israelites of the Bible. Yeah, the brothers that you see out here chasing five and ten dollars, you see the Hispanics who work inside of these casinos right here? We are the last, but we shall be first. We are the Israelites of the Bible. And news flash to all my brothers from Issachar. So-called Jesus ain't white and his name ain't Jesus. All right? Uh. I just saw a march. I just saw a march in Hollywood. They had like 10,000 Christians over there screaming Jesus. Do you realize if so-called Jesus was on the scene, he would have stopped somebody and said, hey, who they talking about? Because his name ain't Jesus. Bring there was no J in Paleo Hebrew. His name is Yahweh Shah, and he's coming back, and his garments is going to be dipped in blood. And he's coming to save the children of Israel and the children of Israel only. That's right. The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. My people don't even consider that we the Israelites of the Bible. And when they do, the first thing they think about is, oh, I got to keep the commandments. So they go wager death over the kingdom. Because we up next, we got the kingdom. Everybody know it, man. All these other nations is going to be in subjection. All nations going to be in subjection to the Israelites. The same way that we cleaned up your poop, 
for years and you stole all our land and you tell us we can't come here, the tables is going to turn because God is just and he's dealing equality. Our equal balance is just to the most high. Shalom, brother. Repent, keep the commandments, huh? You need some fringes on, man. Yeah, but I had a scripture. I don't know where it went. Hold on, man. I, I needed to bring something else out here, man. Come on. Salaki. Yeah, All right, well, we get serious with this thing, man. So I'm going to go to Romans 9 and start at the top. And as I go, I need y'all to understand that this Bible was written by Israelites, two and four Israelites. Everybody else, the Romans, the Greeks, the Catholic Church, they stole the Bible. It's like they stole my diary and put themselves in it. Huh. They start. They moved out of the Caucasus Mountains and they got rulership of all of these places and now they call themselves Italians. They call themselves Russians. They call themselves Jewish from the Khazar Empire. They're not the Jews. We are the Jews, we the children of Israel, we biblical, and all these other nations is going into captivity. You're going to be in subjection to some black men, because Jesus ain't no white man. That's the first trick that they tricked us with after they beat all the life out of us. And we still clean their floors, but everything's going to change. When the Most High send his son down here, y'all going to be rushing to give me all the gold and money y'all stole from me. Come you're going to cleave to this house. You're going to cleave so hard. It's going to be unbelievable for you, man. Hold on. Uh, here's Romans 9. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kindred, according to the flesh. Who are Israelites? We're the Israelites. All of these other nations conspired. That's why we don't know who we are. The black man to tell you here, African-American, some, something that came out in 1980. How you are African-American when when that nationality came out in 1980. How you an African American? We the Israelites of the Bible, man. It's time to repent and keep the commandments because we about to have the kingdom, man. We walk around sipping, leaning. Man, that shit is a distraction. When the, You think when the Edomites was hard at work taking us into captivity, you think they were sitting around drinking? Think they were sitting around smoking? No, they were sitting around making a plan. Huh? And they knew we didn't have the might of the Lord. Because they knew we was in sin. Because they helped us get into sin. But we need to prepare ourselves, man, to put on the armor of God, man. All these nations is going into captivity. The so-called blacks. Hispanics and Native Americans, we coming to take our land back when Jesus come back, so-called Jesus. And all these other nations gonna be in subjection to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is our land. And you come over here and profit off us with distress and make rules that, and you are immoral people, you steal the land, you are immoral people. And then you say and do all of these crimes under the name of democracy. This place is going to burn. This place is going to burn. You see this? 
This is where we got it from. When we came over here as slaves, they stripped our language, our culture, our understanding. So when you see a man walking around in a dress, especially an Israelite man walking around in a dress, we got that from the we got that from our slave masters. We didn't know that. We ain't practiced none of that. All these nations, you see all of these hurricanes and floods all over the world. This is all prophesied in the Bible. This all prophesied in the Bible. Anybody try it. Like I said, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the Israelites of the Bible. We the only ones being persecuted. If you read Deuteronomy 28 and 68, it says that God, for breaking his commandments, God is going to send us into captivity on ships. What other nation you know been in the captivity on ships besides us? And my Hispanic brothers, they don't even know. They don't even know. The conquistadors came over there and moved you all over the world. Got you speaking Spanish. When you spoke Hebrew, Con. And you don't even consider. None of you consider. All of these other nations besides what I said is going into subjection. Trust me. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. Now who do you think that's talking about? Who's in rulership? Who's at the bottom? By the laws. Under the name of democracy, you enslave a whole nation. The Bible says you're going into captivity. The Bible says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword shall die by the sword, must be killed with the sword. This is biblical words, and your pastor ain't going to say it to you. You know why? Because you're going to run from him as quick as hell. My sister, my sisters, y'all need to get yourself together, man. Famine and pestilence and war is coming to this country. All you lackadaisical people, you just sit around and you sit out here and look at the bright lights and catch the fever of Viva Las Vegas, man. There's gonna be no food here soon. And all you people with money, you know you millionaires next door. Trust me. When there's no food, everybody gonna be knocking on your door. There's nothing you can do when the average man can't feed his family. But we don't even consider that. We walking around spending money on folly. The white man going into captivity, man, I said it. The Arab man going into captivity. They put us in slavery. We don't know who we are because of these folks. Y'all better wake up and pay attention, man. We in the last days. You see all the signs and wonders. Everything he's saying, he's telling the truth. What's up, Bob? How you doing, man? Shalom, man. You got to repent and keep the commandments, man. You know some laws? I do. You do? You know the law about growing your beard out? Your lying, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. You African-American, right? So-called? I am. Okay, well, you know we're not African-American, right? We the Israelites. We the Israelites from the tribe of Judah. Come yeah, right, y'all gonna have to tighten up. You the man. You the man in your house. I can see you as upright, stern man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord was an austere man. Yes, sir. He ain't play no games. Everybody be thinking like, oh, Jesus loves. Show me that in the Bible. You know what I want y'all to do? Show me that in the Bible. Somebody, Jesus loves. Show me that in the Bible. Jesus is a man of war. Keep going, man. Keep going. Man. Jesus is a man of war. He said when he comes back, his garment's going to be dipped in blood. Huh. His garment's going to be dipped in blood, and he's going to then choose Israel in front of everybody. He's going to choose Israel in front of everybody, and you're going to be shaking in your boots. And the first thing you're going to do is try to call the white guy who cleans your office building. Hey, Paul, can you please help me? Me and my wife, we don't know what's really going on. Yeah, that's not going to work. All these nations going into subjection. All my Hispanic brothers, nation of undesired, we got to gather together if we want to take over the kingdom. Just like our fathers, the man of war, saw my. 
And I stand on that and I stick my chest out. We the Israelites. Repent and keep the commandments. I wish I had a reader. People don't realize it's all fun and games. See, we've been living in this, we've been living in this dream for so long. Like, and, and us, yo, know, the Bible tell us, everybody say, John, uh, uh, um, God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. But in the whole another verse, it says, don't love the world. <laughs> what? Sure. I don't get it. We don't understand. When you speaking of everything in its totality, in the English in the English language in the Bible, it's going to say Earth, but world stands for a harmonious group of people functioning together. So y'all got your understandings all wrong. But another reason y'all got your understandings all wrong is because y'all enslaved us with this book. You know the verse about be obedient to your masters and all of that? And they took all the other books out of the Bible. That wasn't by accident, that was by design to keep the children of Israel distracted. We're distracted people, man. We, we watch, we looking for bright lights and everything that shine and glitters. Con. Con. My people probably wouldn't talk to me if I, ain't, if I ain't had nothing that shine and glitter on me, man. They wouldn't pay no attention to me. They think I'm a vagabond. And I'm standing up here with the mightiest sword. So-called African-American men. We the Israelites. We ain't African-American. That's shit from 1980. We are the Israelites of the Bible. The people who lost their heritage. The people that's broken hearted. And all of these people who think they're saved, well, they don't even know what saved is. Salvation is being delivered from your oppressors and your captors and making captives of the people who once had you captive. Bring it out. This is biblical, baby. And we taking everybody all to their place. Everybody who conspired came to America and raped and robbed and pillaged the Israelites of the Bible. I wish you thought you, I wish you knew. I know you was like, damn, my, my forefathers got me in this jam. Bro, my forefathers got me in this jam. I'm here because my forefathers broke the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High from the covenant that we made through Moses. Yeah, we direct lineage of the people who come from Moses, all right? He gave us the covenants with an S. So all that BS about, oh, we under a new covenant. When? The Most High ain't come back. Yahweh Shai ain't come back and give us no new covenant. You ain't under no new covenant. The new, when the new covenant come, all y'all gonna be in captivity. Huh? Y'all gonna be in captivity when the new covenant come. Everything is gonna switch over and there's nothing you can do about it. You can go get a million guns, How I look? I'm, I look like I'm doing all right, right? Yeah, so if you're on this side, you're good. But if you're like on this side, it's a problem for the Phoenician. So as long as you're on this side, you're good, my man. Okay, okay. No we'll problem. Thank you, sir. Yep, appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yo, as soon as that. So now we got a security detail out here on this, man. They've been, they been peaceful, though, man. But, you know, we the children of Israel. I'm going to own this. The owners of this. When Jesus come back, the owners of this going to be begging to give me all his gold and money. Come on. They going into captivity, y'all. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. We the children of God. And all you people and all you nations who put your hands on the children of God is going into captivity. Get ready. We ruling with an iron rod. And we standing mighty and tall with the might of the Lord. And all of y'all gonna follow the commandments. Every last one of y'all, I swear, we gonna beat them in you. The same way you beat our culture and heritage out of us, we gonna beat them commandments in you, man. Con. Baha Shimamashiach Yahweh Shah. Shimamashiach Yahweh Shah.
But it's sad that our brothers, they don't even think, man, because we got, we got Israelite brothers that, that live in India, Pakistan. Shalom, King, man. You need to repent, come back to the commandments. Change your life, man. This hot girl summer shit is almost over, man. As soon as famine and pestilence hit this motherfucker, this shit is done. It's burnt down. Come. Burnt all the way down. Famine and pestilence is coming to the, a theater near you. Yeah, and all y'all spending money on these trips out here, y'all ain't got no food in that deep freezer, yeah, man. Y'all ain't got no food in that deep freezer, you better understand. Shalom, sisters, how y'all doing, man? Shalom. Yeah, what, what yeah I, I don't care who give me a side look, man. You standing before the men of the Lord, man, who keep all the law, statutes, and commandments. You got, it's nothing that nobody out here can do to me. I stand on that. You know how some people say they got faith? We out here too deep. Speaking, thus saith the Lord. Bring it out. Ain't worried about nothing because we know we got the might of the Lord with us, man. We walking in the might. You, my brother, you a child of God. You ain't your wife. We the Israelites of the Bible. The white man who took this land and made us get green cards, they going into captivity. So put them in your orange field. God. <laughs> yeah, y'all never seen no black austere men standing up, reading the Bible, telling you what it says biblically. Because all these other religions, they came after the Bible, and the Bible is not a religious book. You know, oh, Jesus saves, Jesus loves. No, Jesus is going to save the Israelites and kill everybody else. And, oh. if you, and if you happen to make it out the wilderness... If you happen to make it out of pestilence and famine, well, we got whips cracking on your back. We got boots on your neck. Huh. We gonna have us a couple of, um, uh, what's the brother's name? Can you guys turn it down? The nope, name? you don't run shit over here. No, I'm, I'm I don't give a fuck. Don't come over here with that entitled white shit. No, 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 you, no you go over there. We didn't call you. You I'm bought this? Did you buy this? Out. Did you buy this? No. Are you the fun police? I apologize for your anger. I'm My anger? Lie. You ain't seen the Lord's anger. You think I got anger? Wait till the Lord come and see how he deal with you. I'm just walking See how you deal with you. I was just asking. They say y'all gonna be maids and servants and handmaids in the kingdom of the Lord. You're gonna be a servant and a handmaid. You're gonna be cleaning up soiled sheets. Come! I ain't got time for none of this, man. Uh. I eat these motherfuckers for breakfast. And I can't wait to get on the front line. And you could go over there. She tried to come over here kindly. Oh, you guys want to turn it down? No, when well, you became the Vegas police. Huh. See, that's that entitledness, man, that we going to break down to the very last compound, man. Huh. The Israelites, we are the Israelites and every other nation besides us, the 12 tribes, the so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, everybody else going into captivity, man. There it is, I said it. We can shut the show down right now. Everybody else is going into captivity, man. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, man. I'm, it's sad to see my people walking up and down here with drinks in their hand. Not seeing what's at hand, man. The kingdom is at hand. And you outside playing, shucking and jiving. Okay. It's not gonna work for you. You're gonna perish with these people you're trying to be like. You're gonna perish with these people. And I get it. Everybody wanna come and have a nice time and show your lady a nice time. You wanna do it, you wanna give your lady a real gift. Teach her the commandments. Show her uh, who she is in the Bible. Uh, Teach her how to aware her heritage. See, we're not religious people. The Most High gave us these law, statutes, and commandments, and we made it our culture and our heritage. And then the Europeans took it. And even when the Catholics first took the Bible and implemented themselves in the Bible, they had to go around killing because nobody wanted to believe them because they they knew the Israelites, whose Bibleists was, all we taught was salvation for Israel. 
Jesus is our savior. Nobody else is savior. Everybody else is doing this in vain. You go into these 10,000 people marches for so-called Jesus, man. All you doing, if I was you, I wouldn't go there because all you doing is setting yourself up to get a, a flash flood on you or whatever. And Moab, they're going into captivity too. Get ready. And you the weakest out of all the nations to me, man. Moab the weakest out of all the nations, man. Time. Just break one of them like a pretzel. <laughs> trying to tell y'all, man. But with that, like I said, we the House of Israel, Las Vegas. We come out here to bring the word to the lost sheep of the House of Israel and let them know to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High because all these other nations is going into subjection. Soon as Jesus come back, all these nations going into subjection. Jesus don't love everybody. Jesus is love. That's nowhere in the Bible. Come. And with that, I'm going to end it. Come, Yasharala. Come, Yasharala. Come, Yasharala. Come, Yasharala. Dance to America. This place about to burn. For all the crimes y'all committed against the children of Israel, you sold us into slavery, and you still benefit from it today. All you people who benefit from the rape, robbing, and spoiling of the Israelites, man, get ready. Get ready. If I was you, I wouldn't even pick up a Bible. You might have nightmares when you read it from my lens. And with that, all praise.